Hey, Susan Berkeley here with the Inside Voice of a video training blog for this week. And I want to talk today about something that casting directors and agents and everybody that listens to voiceover audition says is the most important thing. They hate it when you don't do this. What is it? Well, it's sounding conversational. And in fact, it's how to get any trace of an announcer's sound out of your voice. So three things that you can and should do every single time you turn on the mic to do a voiceover audition or a job. Now, the first thing is to visualize who you're talking to. And that person, and it should always be one person, should be a friend, somebody you like, somebody who likes you. And always imagine that they're reacting to you as you're reading the script. So the second thing is listen for their response. So whatever you say, hear them in your mind say, hmm, that's interesting, really? Tell me more. And then you keep going with the script and they go, no, that's not true. And then you keep going with the script. And at the end they say, really, that's fantastic. Where do I buy? See what I'm saying? So you're actually putting in what I call the secret dialogue. They're half of the conversation. And you can literally write that in your script so you remember to do it. It's a very, very powerful technique. And then the third technique for sounding conversational, also very simple, is what we call the mumble in. Now the mumble in is a few words that you make up before you start reading the script. So let's say the first line of the script is, my kids, all they care about is peanut butter. So you make up some words such as, so Mary, what do you feed your kids for lunch? Or Mary, do you have problems like I do when packing a great lunch for your kid? And then uh, Mary would say, no, well, I don't know. And then you say, my kids, all they care about is peanut butter. So you see how that little fake dialogue that you put in there works to help you have a really much more conversational read from the very first word you say. Try that technique. It's extremely powerful. And of course, obviously, you're going to slice out, splice out, edit out your mumble in and only send in your clean audition. So I hope that's helpful for you. I'm Susan Berkeley, back next week with more Inside VoiceOver.